What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Klipsch T2 True Wireless Earphones in Black I picked up using Amazon Prime for $80.22. Out of five stars, these earbuds don't get any stars out of no customer reviews, but they do come in two different colors black, which we have in front of us here today, and white. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. It's been quite a long time since I've done a pair of earbuds. The last popular earbud video I did were the True Wireless Earbuds by On. I picked up at Walmart for $25. For $25, those earbuds were pretty good for the price. These Klipsch T2 earbuds cost more than double. They do have a few extra really important features uh, such as water resistance, and I believe they do come with a wireless charging case. I reviewed some really awesome wireless earbuds uh, at a really competitive price point with features like active noise cancellation. Yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and check these out for ourselves to find out if these are any good. Okay, so here in front of us are the T2 True Wireless Earbuds by Klipsch. Uh, what's really cool about these uh, earbuds in particular is it does say on the box that they do come with an included wireless charging pad. So yes, like I did say at the beginning of the video, I was hoping these were wireless charging enabled and so far it seems as though they are. So for $80, you get water resistance, the great reputable audio quality that Klipsch has to offer, good build quality, and you get the charging pad with the wireless charging case you do get six hours of charge time with the earbuds themselves. That is pretty much standard uh, for the industry. Most earbuds in this price category, and even some that cost quite a bit more than this, also get around six hours. Uh, usually if you charge it up for an hour or even 30 minutes, you can easily get probably an hour or more's use out of these earbuds. So uh, we'll go ahead and just cut through that sticker there. and. This bottom box should pull out. And what's really cool, as you pull the box out, you do get uh, some really interesting little facts about the earbuds themselves. Uh, we'll take a look maybe at the box here in a moment, but let's go ahead and just lift off the top of the box here. You get what looks to be a pretty nice little instructional guide at the top in the form of a book. It does say Klipsch on the front. Really nice uh, thought that went into that there. Uh, on the top here, you get another additional box here. Uh, we should just be able to go into Bluetooth settings and pretty much pair it that way. Uh, also in the box is a micro USB charging cable. Uh, not the best length for a charging cable, but like I said, it does come with the wireless charging pad. So really nice that actually you have those two options here. And last but not least, uh, you do get a USB-C charging cable. Uh, you get what looked to be an extra large and a small pair of ear tips. And then last but not least, wow, this is actually pretty impressive. Uh, this is the Klipsch wireless charging mat that comes with the box or that comes with the earbuds, excuse me. Uh, you do get some rubber feet at the bottom there, so this should stay pretty well put on your table. Uh, I would also imagine that you could pretty much use this charging puck for a phone or other wireless earbuds. I don't see why you would necessarily have to use it for the Klipsch wireless earbuds. You guys came here for the earbuds, right? So we do have the charging case here. Uh, this is good for an additional 18 hours. Uh, they do sort of look very similar in style to the Sony. They are not touch sensitive. They are actually buttons, so they do click. You do have to press them down. Uh, you do get some pretty nice feedback. They do feel pretty tactile, so uh, when they're in your ear, you should just have to give them a pretty good click. Uh, if you do have some kind of USB-C charge flow, say from your laptop or your desktop computer, or maybe if you have other Android USB-C devices around the house that you want to pair these with, they will integrate nicely into your charge flow. So let's go ahead and see what the earbuds themselves fit like in the charging case. Uh, they actually just kind of snap right into place there. Uh, the lid closes on its own. Uh, the AirPods case does not do that. Uh, this is just a little nitpick that I find interesting about this case. Uh, it's not fragile or cheap feeling by any means. It's just kind of 
free. It's on a free swinging hinge, so to speak. Yeah, let's go ahead and put these in our ear and pair them to our phone and see how they sound. Okay, so immediately what I like about these Klipsch T2 is you sort of put them in your ear forward and then you rotate them backwards, so to speak, and they eventually nestle themselves into your ear. And actually, uh, like I said, the medium ear tips actually fit perfectly. Uh, but what I want to point out here is that they are a very tight, very secure fit. Uh, as you can see, I'm shaking my head around and they are not coming out of my ear whatsoever. But what also makes these really nice fitting is the fact that they actually block off some of the outside noise. Uh, the AirPods, they, like I said, kind of just sit in your ears. These are tucked into your ears uh, and that does help alleviate some of that outside noise that you really don't want to hear while you're listening to music. But let's go ahead and pair them via Bluetooth. We'll see how they sound. I'll try out a different couple EQ settings and then I'll let you know what I think of them. Okay, so I think the verdict is pretty much in with these earbuds. I listened to a little bit of EDM. I listened to a little bit of rock and roll. I listened to a little bit of hip hop with these. Uh, I also did try them out on a few different EQ settings. First, I started off with a bass reducer. Uh, what I can tell you after having used them on three different EQ settings is that these do have a very distinct uh, audio profile. And what I mean by that is, to me, they sound just a little bit muffled. Uh, after you listen to them for a long time or any certain period of time, you will absolutely positively get used to them. Uh, and actually, they did adjust very nicely when going from a bass reducer to a bass booster. And then finally, when I switched over to a flat EQ setting, they were just fuller, they were richer, they were louder. But again, I think these Klipsch T2 wireless earbuds have their own distinct sound profile. And to me, they just sound a little bit muffled. Uh, but then again, like I said, I think if you listen to these long enough, you will definitely enjoy these. Uh, these are great sounding earbuds. The audio is very accurate. The bass is not overwhelming. It's also not underwhelming. It's actually perfect. Uh, I did not need to use a bass booster at all. And when I turned the bass reducer on, uh, it just sounded a little bit flat, a little bit uh, dull to me. So in turn, uh, I went to a flat EQ setting, which sort of brought all those levels up that I was complaining about. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out is these are extremely loud. I was pushing these to over 100 decibels. That's also another thing I want to point out is they actually feel really robust and they actually sound robust as well. Uh, one problem I have with the AirPods Pro is they are so fragile. You drop them and they start rattling and they have all of these different issues. These feel robust. They feel uh, like you can drop them. They're a nice, thick, hard plastic. And really, I think they're designed to handle a little bit of that extra bass and a little bit of that extra treble you might want to throw at these when listening to different types of music or different genres of music. I really do like these. I think you're getting a really solid earbud here for $80. But like I said, uh, what's really nice is you do get this in the box with these earbuds and it's actually pretty cool looking as well. Uh, you do get this interesting LED indicator light at the top, which is actually something I've never seen before on a charge puck. That is actually pretty helpful because sometimes in the middle of the night, when you're trying to figure out where exactly to place your earbuds or your phone, for example, you actually kind of need a reference point. And if you can't see this Klipsch logo in the middle of the night, you can at least see that LED logo, which I really like. So let's go ahead and just lay down our Klipsch earbuds here. Uh, as you can pretty much tell, uh, you are getting some blinking LED indicator lights on the bottom of the case there, letting us know that they are charging. These do not get any stars or any reviews. For some reason, Amazon, or maybe it was Klipsch, decided to remove that feature. They are just as good, if not better, than some other $80 earbuds in the market. You get some premium features, you get a really nice headphone, uh, you get this charging case, you get the charging puck in the box, which a lot of other headphones at this price point that are wireless do not offer. Uh, you get this really interesting look. It's like a speckled design. Anyways, guys, my name is John. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you in the next one.